Welcome back everyone, it's Romero17 and this is going to be part 2 for takedown offense in UFC 4, primarily focused on the clinch. So I'm going to be working from the main clinch positions in opening space, which is going to be single collar, where you have dominant single collar, dominant over under with the body lock, tie clinch, and getting the back clinch from open space, which I'll show you soon. So first things first, I'm going to get the clinch with Henry Cejudo, I'm going to input R1 and X and if your fighter has this in his moveset, you're going to be able to hit this headlock to a hip toss, take them right down to side side or very dominant position. If you go forward with R1 and X, you get this little trip going forward and you can knock them down so you can try and jump in their guard. And if you use R1 and circle, you'll be able to hit an ankle pick from there. Same levels apply. Now if you move to the side, I believe if you're moving down or you can move up, you'll have the option based on wherever their leg is, to trip them. So, as you can see, uh, Demetrius Johnson is orthodox right here, so I'm gonna move him down. Right, I'm gonna move him down. Boom, there's a little trip. Doesn't allow me to pounce on top, but it's a good little misdirection to kind of fool your opponent and get them worried about takedowns in the clinch. As you can see, I'm moving him here. Boom, trip him to the outside leg. So those are the basic clinch takedowns from single collar. Another key thing when it comes to the clinch is that you'll still be able to initiate your double leg drives even if you initiate single collar. So if you try to do a single leg, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why, but the double leg does work. So you can try it forward. If your opponent partially denies it, you can go back to the first video and see how you can start initiating your turns from there. So I'm gonna go one more time. Take him to the middle of the cage. Regular drive, taking him forward. All right, he decides to deny me, that's cool. I'm gonna clinch one more time. L2, L1, double leg input, a square and triangle, and boom, take him right down to the mat into side control. All right, next up is going to be single under. To get the single under, press R1 and square once you get to the single collar. Again, the same inputs are going to be R1X or R1 circle. In this case, I'm going to use R1 and circle to get this high crotch takedown. Take him down right into side control. Next time I clinch again, Right back into single under, going to use R1 and X, and I'm going to step through with a hip toss. And in Henry Cejudo's case, or anybody else that has this in their arsenal, if you get to single under and you circle behind your underhook and input R1 and X, you're going to get this nice, cool little knee block, kind of outside trip thing going on here. And yeah, take them down. If you haven't realized there's a consistent theme with all these takedowns in the clinch, most of what you have in one position you can hit in the other, but there's a difference in where you can end up for some of them, and I'll get on that in a moment. So right here, I can still hit the headlock into side saddle with Henry Cejudo. Once I get into the clinch again, if I'm driving him forward, I can hit the ankle pick from the tie clinch. Now if you guys remember the outside trip earlier in this video where I'm circling with uh, DJ, as you can see right there, if I get tie clinch, and I use that foot sweep. Huge difference is that now I can end up inside control. You see that? Let me show you guys two, two more times, two more times. Tie clinch by initiating the knee, by pressing X, R1 and X by circling, and boom, now I am inside control. With all the grapplers out available now in this game, this can be a huge difference maker in setting up your takedowns and what you're going to be looking for. So keep an eye out for this. Next up is going to be the over-under. Now, if you want to know how to get into over-under from open space, you have to slip to the inside of your opponent's strike. So I'm going to slip in the inside of Henry Cejudo. Boom. Get to over-under. R1 and X. Get an outside trip. And boom, I'm in half guard. Now, if I use R1 and circle instead. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with his arm? I'm going to get this little body lock and take him down into side saddle. And if you're Henry Cejudo... Or anybody else that has this in their arsenal, you can get to the over-under. If you move downwards, you can hit this inside trip and you go right into full guard. And another takedown that you can hit from over-under once you slip in. If you input L2 and square or triangle, depending on where your stance is at, you'll get this animation right here, straight into backside. Now, if you duck, successfully evade, right? Ducking forward and input the clinch immediately right after, you'll be able to get a back take from open space, as you can see right here, right on DJ. And if I press R1 and X or circle, I'll be able to get this nice little takedown right into backside. Very dominant position in this game. And of course, if you take their back, yes, you're gonna be able to jump on their back and initiate the backpack position by using 
L2, R1 and squared, different from when you're against the cage. And if you just simply want to take them down into back sitting, just press X and there you go. This is kind of like the intro for clinch takedowns, Marrow 17. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, share it, show it around to your friends. I'm out of here.